that white liberals running the entire apparatus have taken for granted the average black voter. They think it's just already baked in. And at the very least, it's like you have to compete for the vote, right? I mean, in black communities across the country, you have failing schools, rising crime, and deter deteriorating households. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again to new video, guys. They're going to be checking out. Um, students refuse to believe liberal lies. Okay, let's give this a try. You know how to do it? Talk less, then we ask more. Let's get right to today's video. Poof. Um, my name is Micah, and I just quick question. I get a lot of like flack and crap for being black and conservative. So like Malcolm X in the '60s said that you know. Black people are only used as a political football for white liberals. For white liberals, yeah. What would you say that your best argument is to like disprove that fact and and whatnot? Well, I I, I kind of agree with Malcolm X, uh, if that's okay to say. Um, I don't know if you're asking me to di di to disprove that, but no, no, like prove that it was true. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So just to understand, Malcolm X, kind of a uh, mixed bag, and don't agree with everything he believed in, but. Malcolm X was totally right on this. Malcolm X railed against white liberals that were trying to use the black population for their own personal gain. Um, and boy, was he right. And so you kind of look at, I mean, just look at public, well, one public polling poll, right? Where the question is, do you support defunding the police? Most black communities don't support defunding the police. Who supports defunding the police are like upper white liberals on the northeast side of New York. It's like there's this huge disconnect. And so, look, but if you look at an even more fundamental, deeper level of this, I, I think what is most interesting and most important is that like black culture in America is completely disconnected from white liberal metropolitan culture. And they're, they're actually at the exact opposite. It's, I mean, you could speak, and you might disagree, but at least my experience and the black conservatives I spend time with is that this like trans issue is the least popular in the black community of all the communities in the country. It's like the, it's the least popular especially when it comes to like men, be, they're like, what, are you kidding me? And yet it's being pushed by white liberals on a party where they're the most reliable voting demographic, right? And so look, put simply is that um, I believe that white liberals running the entire apparatus have taken for granted the average black voter. They think it's just already baked in. And at the very least, it's like you have to compete for the vote, right? I mean, in black communities across the country, you have failing schools, rising crime, and deter deteriorating households, and the same political decisions keep on made, being made over and over again. So, yeah, I, I, I can help you unpack that further, I suppose, but it really kind of goes down to this, which is, what is the best for a human being regardless of color? The best for human beings is to be able to own property, get a fair education, have streets that aren't widespread with crime. These issues should not be controversial at all. You know, it, should, it shouldn't be controversial to say that we want school choice, we want better schools, all these sorts of things. So um, happy to unpack that further. But let me just ask you a question. Being a black conservative, do you get, you get, how, does, how does the black community treat you in that, in that way? Um, so my barber, he's in, he, I get my haircut in Fayetteville, and every time I sit down in the chair, he's asking me all kinds of questions. And I don't, he gives me all, all these stats, and I don't even know if any of them are actually true, but he says them confidently enough to where they, they might be true. And I just have to sit there and take it. I don't, you know, I don't know what exactly stats you know to refute those sure. with it's not your job so i mean i just get and all my uncles and everybody just just rails on me i've been called you know uncle tom yep. every every oh. name in the book there's a great movie i don't know if you've seen that oh, movie I've seen yeah, it, uh, with larry elder and the and great Kansas Kansas Jones. Jones. yeah so let me just kind of encourage you though um you got to keep holding the line you're not alone there's a growing community of black conservatives across the country that are sick and tired of the one-stop stop, one -stop shop monolithic thinking. Um, the great Larry Elder, as I mentioned, Candace Owens, Brandon Tatum have been helping lead this charge. You are not alone. They want you to make you feel alone. Um, and I just want to say we have your back 100%. So God bless you. Okay. Um, I love the guys. God, I love how he came out and speak his mind. Because this feels like a lot of people are just, a lot of liberals are just pointing lies and lies on his ears. Like, <laughs> and he have his stand because he conservative. So he has to stand his ground on what he believes in. And I love how Charles Kick answered him and said, you're not alone. There are a lot of people who are standing by your back. Candace Owens is standing by your back. You understand? So you're not alone in this fight. There are a lot of liberals who want to just create more havoc and destruction and increase that community but you have to stand for what is right and and be smart know the right choice what you are going to choose which side which side you are going to choose you have to be very smart to choose the right the right path 
And I love the guys got coming here to for clarification, to express how he feels and what has been happening because it's something that's been bothering him. The way he uh, spoke out, it has been bothering him up to his barber, spinning him with lies and stuff. So he just had to spill it out. And I love how Chaski um give him a word of encouragement. It's really really beautiful. It's something he needed. Uh, for him to keep on going and supporting. So guys, coming up below, think about 